Hello, friends. Okay, I did it. I bought a jelly plate. Um, I have alcohol inks. Uh, I did pull a couple of jelly plate prints because I was playing around. So I did try it. That's why it's yellow. Um, so these are the prints that I pulled. I used an old piece of, uh, or an old page from a book for these two. Uh, and then I cut around them. And then I used some sheet music for these. On the back is actually the very first print I pulled. And that is a magazine transfer that I tried. That was just the letter T. Uh, it didn't work very well, as you can tell. Uh, but anyway, these are all alcohol inks. So uh, I'm going to play with my alcohol inks, play with the jelly plate, and I have some book pages and music paper that I'm going to use to pull onto um, because I have so much ephemera paper like this. Uh, it I don't want to pull it on clean paper. Um, I really enjoy using different specialty papers rather than just plain rice paper or whatever. Um, maybe we'll put one on tissue paper because I hear that's cool too. So, uh, let's, let's just go ahead and do it. This is probably really loud and I apologize. The, uh, the new iPhones have an incredibly, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? sensitive microphone. I think this is the side I've been using. I don't think it really matters. Uh, so all of these alcohol inks I found on clearance, oddly enough, and I bought them because they were on clearance. I don't know why they were on clearance. Maybe, maybe Tim Holtz is gonna stop producing these colors or this pack or something? I don't, I don't know. Uh, the blending solution was not on clearance. Um, wait, was it? Oh, it may have been. Uh, okay. So I hopefully can remember everything. Um, I have some spray alcohol and I have some dropper alcohol. And we are just going to put things on the page and see what happens. Um, I have this massive jug of ember because it was on clearance and I didn't really have any reds. So I'm going to put some red down. It's really funny because I feel like before doing all this, I'm like, oh, I think I need an adult. And then I realize I'm the adult, so. It's me. I'm me. I'm the adult. So here we are. Uh, this is Slate. Just gonna pop a little color in here of that. Um, I'm gonna spritz it with alcohol. I don't know. I've watched a ton of jelly plate tutorials and they're all so different. All right, and now this is a little bit of alloy, which if you can tell, the metallics cluster, but they like move around too. Okay, so now I'm gonna take some blending solution. I just feel like I'm doing science. I feel like I need, I really do need an adult. I hope this doesn't blow up. Um, okay. And what I was doing was I was letting this run on the plate. Um, so the alloys will clump, which is really kind of cool. Um, it's kind of like blood clotting, which is interesting. Maybe a little morbid because this is red too. So apologies. Um, but I just want this to 
go wherever it wants to go. And my dog is all freaked out because it's quiet. Yes, yes. When you grow up in a house full of three kids, when it's quiet, you get you get a little nervous, huh? Yeah. Yeah, you're a little nervous. That was not my dog growling. That was my stomach. Because I'm sure this microphone picked that up too. All right. So I'm going to go. Okay, so I have some citrus. It comes out really yellow. Uh, this is either going to backfire on me tremendously or be really cool. So... Here we go. It doesn't matter. Whatever. 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 I will just blow on it. And that kind of moves it around too. So, okay. Uh, I think I'm going to do a little bit of that. A little bit of that. And I think I'm going to let it sit. And um, see what happens. Uh, I wonder, actually, you know what? So I got these cake decorating things off of Amazon. They're like five bucks. Um, and I know that I'm supposed to do this with not alcohol ink, but whatever. Um, I just kind of wonder what's going to happen. If I do this, look, we're doing science. Okay. This is, this is, I don't know. It's the science channel right now. All right. Well, I'm not keen on that. I'm not really keen on anything that's going on here. So I think what I'm going to do is pull it wet. I did see someone do that. Oh, uh, and that was kind of interesting. Um, I watched one lady, I wish I could remember who. I don't ever keep track of any of this stuff. I'm not like an organized YouTuber. Uh, but I watched one lady who... Oh, that's... Oh, that's really interesting. The black sink to the bottom. Oh, that's really cool. Okay. Uh, I watched this one lady, she pulled all of hers wet, which was super interesting. Um, and she pulled them just like that. She didn't put a layer of paint down, which was interesting. Okay, so this is Glacier. Um, just a smidgen of Slate, um, cobalt, or monsoon. Let's do monsoon. And there's still stuff on here. As you can see, there's still alloys and things on here. So they are going to be on here. And a lot of people were using a ton of alcohol ink. Um, oh, that's kind of cool. And maybe that's what I should be doing is using a ton of alcohol ink, but I kind of like to watch the designs. Yep, that's what I wanted you to do right there. All right, and then I'm going to do a drop of that. And I think I'm going to do a drop of alcohol on it. Whoa. Oh, man, can you see what's happening? It's all moving around. They look like little ants. That's really cool. So 
All right. Now I'm going to do a drop of cobalt. Whoa. And then I think I'm going to blow on that. Yep. Just like that. All right, I'm gonna let that sit and dry. And then I have iridescent medium that I'm gonna use to pick it up. And we're gonna put it on one of these uh, mathematics in the imagination pages. Um, I actually can't help but read words when they're in front of me. Uh, and some of this is so funny. Consider one, two, three, four times five, six, seven, eight equals seven, zero, zero, six, six, five, two. That's really funny. Um, cause you know, we just multiply four digits all the time in our heads. And of course, one, two, three, four times five, six, seven, eight equals 70 bazillion. I think it's, I don't know. Anyway, 7 million. Um, so Okay, this looks pretty dry actually. Um, yeah, it's pretty dry. I think it's dry enough. So here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm going to take my, well, I'm gonna shake this iridescent medium first. Right, and then I'm going to. You really don't need much iridescent medium. That is one thing that I discovered is that you do not need much at all. Um, so one thing to remember is I am out in the desert. It is very dry here. So. Your time to do this stuff may be shorter or longer. I really love the feel of old paper. Like it just feels, I don't know. It just feels really good. So the one thing that I learned pulling my first set of prints is that it definitely does matter if it's cold. Um, the, I was, I just need to say this full disclaimer here. I was not going to get into jelly printing when I got back into collage. I started looking on YouTube and I was like, Oh, mono printing. I, I looked into that and I was like, no way that's too expensive and needs a lot of materials and space and no this looks like a, a terrible thing a rabbit hole um it is a rabbit hole here i am uh but again the jelly plate i uh i got on sale it was like 40 percent off uh the alcohol inks were 60 percent off on clearance uh so i don't normally pay full price for my art supplies fyi uh, because I think a lot of art supplies are overpriced and, you know, there's lots of things that you, there's lots of household things or cheaper things that are the same as what you're paying premium for in an art supply. So I'm very cautious. Oh, that's cool. Oh, and it still has, oh, neat. Yeah. Oh, I love that blue. That blue is great. What is that glacier? Okay. So we're going to use the glacier again. Can you see the iridescence? Yeah, that's really neat. Okay. So we're going to use the glacier and I want, I think we're also going to use the mermaid and pistachio. We're going in. Actually, yeah. So 
out a little bit of pistachio. There's still some alloy on here, which is fine. I don't mind picking that up. I like the alloy because it kind of makes it look like that's the glacier. The alloy makes it look like marbled. It's like the vein of rocks, you know, like a rock vein. So this just may turn into a green muddy mess, but who's counting? No one. Oh, that's interesting. My alloy kind of exploded. That's why it's all over the place. Um, when you live at 4,000 feet, a lot of the items that you buy are under pressure when you open them. Uh, like all of my Posca pens, I have to hold them upside down. So with the nib up and I have to push on them to release the pressure or else I'll have an explosion of Posca paint all over the place. Okay, so, okay, so I dried this a little bit and then I, I had just a few small puddles. So I, um, I took the sheet music and I, I just dabbed it on there to get the puddles up. Um, now we're going to use the iridescent medium, which again is really thin and you, and very wet, so you don't need a ton of it. Okay, and roll that out. Oh, it's very, very mica-y, mica-y. Uh, and then, haha, joke's on me. I didn't have a sheet of paper ready. So here we go. I'm gonna use this one. Okay. This is a clarinet from a clarinet music book. I played the clarinet. It is copyright 1950. How fun is that? Super fun. Super, super fun. All right, so This is actually pretty wet, so I didn't miss my opportunity or anything. Um, it's really wet. I don't know that it will. It's definitely taking a while. Here we go. Da 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 da. Da, 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 da. Oh, that's kind of neat. Okay. All right. Let's do... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do one with these colors. I'm going to do... I'm going to do a paint one, which I actually have yet to do. Um, oh, that was... Lovely. I think I need to buy more paint. Yep. Okay. Uh, I'm going to Okay. I'm going to brayer this on like so. Pretty thick coat because again, I am in the desert. Um, wow, can you hear that? I'm out near the national forest as well, which is why there are a lot of cars making a lot of noise. 
Okay, and now I think what I'm gonna do, what I want to do is I wanna take this. I'm gonna do that. And then, um, I don't have anything past that. Um, ooh, I know what I can do. I can do this stencil. Yes. Okay. Do that. Going to pull that like this. You're supposed to really make sure that you work it into the stencil bits. I remember hearing. So not work it into the stencil bits. Maybe there's too much paint. I don't know. I'm just trying everything. I'm just over here making mistakes, so you don't have to. I think that's gonna be my two my new tagline. I'm over here making mistakes, so you don't have to. Hey, that looks really neat. Cool. Now what I'm going to do, well first I'm gonna slide these little guys over. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this up. Oh, that is super cool. And I'm going to put it on here. Like so. And I'm going to take this clean-ish brayer. And I'm really going to work it down. All right. And then I'm gonna pull, pull it up. Oh yeah, neat. That is really cool. And this is super cool and I'm gonna let it dry. And then I'm gonna pull it with this bright cadmium yellow. Um, this is still really cool and I'm sad that it's not going to come off. So let me clean this while I'm waiting on that to dry. I'll fast forward through this mess and so you don't have to wait here. Okay. I think this is pretty dry. So now I'm going to boop boop, boop boop. And I'm gonna just make sure that there's nothing really on there. And then, probably need more paint than that. Wow, I think I need even more. that and that and now I need to pull it so I think I'm gonna I'm gonna pull it on this side of this one no maybe I'll pull it here I don't know that might not turn out how I want it to okay I'm gonna be oh uh, y'all are probably kind of freaking out because I'm kind of freaking out running out of time and you're not wrong I am running out of time all right hmm. 
it's pretty cool to the touch. So let's see how this works. Oh no. Uh -uh. I needed more paint. I don't think it's, I don't think this is going to take. It's fine. We're going to pull it up and see what we got. Oh, it's not bad. I am not mad at that at all. That's pretty cool, actually. Yes. I'll take it. Okay. I'm going to do one more. What do I have on there? Blue? Yes. All right. I think I'm going to pull with a light portrait pink, maybe. Uh, maybe not. Hmm. Yeah, I think I am actually. I think I'm going to do exactly that. I'm going to see if I can pull the remaining residue of this off. And I'm going to put it on this. did that and I'm going to pull it on here and it may not be lined up and that's fine. Oh, I got a, I got a wrinkle in the paper right there. Wow, that is really... That is really cool. I really like all of that. I can't believe I made that. It's wild. That just won't come up. So that's okay. I got that up. We can clean this. All right, that's it. I'm gonna have to clean up now and put my toys away and go watch some more jelly plating YouTube videos so that I can make more videos to say, oh, 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 I learned this thing. Let's go, let's go look at it. We can look at it together and see if we can make it happen. And it'll be fun and you can come along and hang out with me and do this with me next time there will be way more jelly plate printing that's such a mouthful uh fun times so thanks for joining thanks for coming along i think that's on the other side Dag nabbit. Anyway, uh, I gotta clean this thing. Peace.